Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about two major things that made my customers refuse to use any other detailer besides me. And when I say that these two things are things no other detailer talks about, I mean that as literally as I can possibly mean it. But before we get into this, go below in the YouTube description box and grab that free guide to starting your auto detailing business for under $500. I lay out every tool and product you need to start your detailing business for under $500 so you don't have to waste the time and money that I wasted over the years trying to figure out things through trial and error. I promise it makes more sense to learn from other people's mistakes than it does from your own mistakes. Now, I posted a video a couple days ago, and on the thumbnail, I put customer psychology because psychology, like it or not, is one of the most important things when it comes to actually talking to customers in the detailing world. And if you run a detailing business, You've probably come to the sad realization at some point that you began and thought, oh man, it's going to be all about my detailing ability and my detailing skill. And somewhere along the way you realized, oh wow, running a detailing business actually has a lot more to do with talking to people, how you build trust, how you build relationships, how you sell, how you convince people to do things or not do things than it does with your actual literal detailing ability. Now there's a great book by a guy named Robert Cialdini and it's called Persuasion and the concept I'm talking about in this video come a lot from that book and different sources as well. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about here firstly is something called the availability bias because it ends up being really, really appropriate in the detailing world. One of the things that ends up happening a lot in my particular detailing world is I'll have customers call me that live in my city and live outside of my city and in sometimes even live outside of my state, for example. I had a customer from Florida actually call me. I live in Middle Tennessee, right outside of Nashville, Tennessee. And the guy in Florida said, hey, listen, I'm going to be passing through Tennessee on my way back to my first home. I spend the winter in Florida. And on my way back, I want to stop through Nashville so that you can detail my car. I don't want anyone else to do it. And what trails his sentence is, I don't want anyone else to do it. And that ends up happening a lot in my world and has become more and more evident and common in the last three years. So I ask myself, what did I change in my business the last three and a half years? And one of the major things that ended up happening was posting a lot of media, video, pictures, and all sorts of things on social media. And of course, that wasn't necessarily only for my local customers. A lot of it was for the education side of my business and the teaching side of my business. But what ended up being an unintended byproduct or consequence of that is that a lot of people in a lot of different places ended up watching the videos and those people became customers and almost 100% of the time without fail, if someone calls me and says, I don't want anyone else to detail my car, that is indicative of the fact that they have been watching my videos. For example, I talk about one of my maintenance clients, Sean, who called me not too long ago and said, I want to get on your maintenance plan. You don't have to convince me. You don't have to sell me. Just tell me when you can do it. I know you're not taking on any new customers, but I will pay you whatever you charge to come out here and put me on the maintenance plan. What makes someone approach you that way where you no longer have to convince, sell, or persuade somebody to do something? And what I would say is is something that has been highly correlated with that sort of phenomenon is something called the availability bias. And what that means is that our brains are more or less apt or developed or adapted to over-focus on easily available information. So you see this happen in a lot of other parts of life as well, way more than just detailing. But what ends up happening is for whatever reason, we end up getting or feeling or gaining a certain level of trust with people or things or conventional lines of wisdom that we hear or see over and over again from different people in different places over a long period of time. And so social media ends up being like the poster child for this sort of cognitive bias that again is called the availability bias. When I post all the time on social media, on YouTube and Instagram, for whatever reason, of course there's value being given, of course there's education being given, of course there's certain people who are implementing the information that I'm giving and they're getting results from that. However, that being said, even if I wasn't giving the best information out there, there's a certain level of trust that gets built inevitably 
only because of the fact that I put out a lot of stuff where you can see it in a lot of different places at a lot of different times. Other people sometimes talk about it and it's over the long term. This happens with customers using social media and it's why I encourage people to use social media to your advantage in your detailing business because the more available your face is and your information is and your detailing business is, the more kind of subconsciously people inevitably trust you. And once again, this is not to be manipulated and give out bad information. The point is you can actually use this cognitive bias to couple it with other things that make it stronger. For example, the fact that I give out a lot of auto detailing business information that actually helps people. It actually helps their business profits, their bottom line. It helps their detailing ability. They see the fruit of their labor in implementing the strategies. When the reality of the helpfulness of the information works together, with the availability of the information, not only are you just doing the right thing probably ethically and morally, but secondly, it creates in a, an unbelievable amount of trust, not only with people who want to learn from you, but also with people who want to buy from you. Now, the last thing I want to talk about here and the second thing ultimately in this video is another bias that our brains kind of tend towards. And once again, you can check out this book by Robert Cialdini called Persuasion. I'll hook it up in the YouTube description box below because I think it's very helpful and pertinent for the auto detailer. But it's called the reciprocity bias, reciprocation bias. What it means is people tend to return favors. Now, that is an oversimplistic uh, analysis of it, but that's really the essence of it. And a lot of times I talk about over delivery in the detailing world. I talk about leaving things like microfiber towels or mints left over in the car. And what ends up happening is not only do people feel like you're over delivering, they feel like they owe you something at some subconscious level. It's really interesting what happens in the follow-up with a customer with whom you've left a gift in the car. There's something in them that actually feels more or less obligated to do business with you again when you intentionally reach out to them after that gift has been given. And so without diving too into detail about that, that is the simple way to look at the availability bias and the reciprocation or reciprocity bias, and it can be implemented very easily in your detailing world. Guys, if you like this information, smash the thumbs up button, will you? And comment below and let me know if you've used any of this in your detailing world when you're talking to customers. And tell me again in the comments below how it went and what happened. I also want to remind you guys, grab that free guide in the YouTube description box below for how to start your auto detailing business for under $500. It's going to lay out the top 10 tools and products that you need to get in this business so you don't have to waste your time looking for stuff and wasting money. Of course, all the tools and products in this video will be hooked up in the YouTube description box below as well for this specific video. And as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you get notified when I publish future videos just like this. Guys, thank you so much for being involved and from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing. Keep working hard and I will see you guys in the next video.